There are reports that say that you have the lowest approval rating of any vice president. Well, there are polls that also say I have great approval ratings. <laughs> Swing voters don't like Harris. How big a drag is Kamala Harris on the ticket? She's a pretty big drag. I think she was arguably Biden's worst political decision. They don't like her. There's lots of reasons they don't like her. Kamala Harris's approval rating is now at 28 percent, which is uh, an historic low for any modern vice president. We're hearing it from main, mainstream media, uh, one mm -hmm. outlet after another, one leak after another. That, that Kamala Harris is the worst vice president ever, the worst politician ever. We don't see the vice president. What, what people are saying to me, and I'm sure they're saying it to you, where's the vice president? Some White House officials are feeling that, that she came off looking unprepared for inevitable questions about when she might visit the southern border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I, mean, I, don't, I don't understand the point that you're making. The point that Lester Holt was making was, was obvious to anyone else who was watching this interview, which is that the issues at the border are inextricably linked with the portfolio that she's been given. The border is secure. We have a secure border. Bidenomics is working. Uh, prices have gone up. And families and individuals are dealing with the realities of